Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Pals for Life, and today we're diving into a topic that many Christian women might find challenging. How to embody the qualities of a Proverbs 31 woman, especially when your husband seems to reject God and neglect his responsibilities as a godly man. Let's start by understanding what a Proverbs 31 woman really is. Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31 describes a woman who is strong, wise, capable, and devoted to her family and God. But what happens when the person we want to share this journey with isn't on the same path? It can be disheartening and challenging. First and foremost, it's important to focus on your relationship with God. In situations where our partners are struggling with faith or responsibilities, it's easy to feel lost and hopeless. Remember that your relationship with Christ is your priority and foundation. Lean into prayer and scripture. Ask God for guidance on how to approach your marriage and for strength to fulfill your own role as a Proverbs 31 woman. The Proverbs 31 woman is a nurturer and leader in her household. And one way to influence your husband positively is by being a living example of God's love. Acts of kindness, patience, and understanding can speak volumes. Your actions can inspire change, demonstrating the love of Christ even in difficult times. Remember, our character can often be more persuasive than words. Don't forget to seek support from your community. Surround yourself with friends and family who share your faith. This could be through a church group, a Bible study, or even an elder or a mentor. Sharing your struggles with others can provide encouragement, perspective, and truth as you navigate your situation. Communication is key in any relationship. Without being confrontational or compromising your concerns, express your feelings about the responsibilities you feel are being neglected. Discuss how his choices not only affects your marriage, but also your family's spiritual health and well-being. While it's difficult to address these issues, doing so with love and clarity can sometimes open doors for deeper conversations. Above all, foster a spirit of love and grace in your home. Remember that everyone is on their own journey with God. Show love unconditionally, praying that your husband may someday come to reflect on his choices. Lastly, don't overlook your own well -being. Engage in self-care, hobbies, and personal growth as you embrace your life. You become more fulfilled and capable of loving and supporting your family, regardless of the challenges you may face. Remember, being a Proverbs 31 woman is not about perfection. It's about progress and faithfulness in doing your part. Continue to pray for your husband and seek God's will in your marriage. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need encouragement. Don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content. Until next time, may God bless you and your family.